The high price of wild encounters on California's highways and interstates, and we're not talking with other people, but animals costing drivers dearly. The UC Davis annual road kill report says car versus wildlife crashes cost drivers billions over the last five years. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is live at one of the prime collision spots, getting answers on the proposed plan to protect animals and cars. Laura. Well, the plan is simple. Get animals across busy roadways safely. How they're going to do that? Animal crossings. This is one example, the YOLO bypass. This area allows animals to cross underneath I-80 safely, right? Keeping them out of harm's way down here, keeping drivers safe up on the roadway. You say, UC Davis says we need more of these. Roadkill is costing California major cash. We're blessed in California by having a lot of wildlife, but we also drive a lot of cars, and so we're killing animals left and right. Highway 50, Interstate 80, and State Route 49 all deemed hotspots for animal versus car collisions. And recently, I saw a deer running across the road that had a broken leg. An image Sacramento driver Derek Bratton can't shake. You know, it is sad to see bigger creatures, uh, you know, in pain. So what's pushing animals to area roadways and how do you keep them off? We're getting answers. Fraser Schilling with the UC Davis Road Ecology team says the problem is twofold. Not only are we building on top of where the animals live, the drought is also pushing them out in search of food and water. So what's the solution? Wildlife crossings are bridges, or I guess you could think of them as roads to go from their summer home to their winter home. Fencing the highways to keep the wildlife off the roads. UC Davis knows how to build the crossings. Now they hope to convince lawmakers to pay for them. It's always tricky to convince lawmakers of anything, but the dollar seems to be one of the most rational bases of decision making. Schilling says crashes have cost the Golden State roughly $2 billion over a five year period. If you hit anything, you could have property damage and we pay for emergency response, there's insurance costs, and so we can apply an economic equivalent, a dollar equivalent to each crash. If the dollar value doesn't convince them, I don't know what else will. So where do they want to get the money from? The UC Davis researcher we spoke to suggests that lawmakers pull funding from highway expansions and put it into the animal crossings.